What would happen if you ran a Monaco setup around Monza in Formula 1? Well, today we're going to find out. And actually, this is the first time that we've been able to fully find out in the official F1 game. Because this year's game, F1 22, is the first game where the setups are identical across all tracks. By that, I mean 0-0 wings versus 50-50 wings. Minimum wings versus maximum wings are identical across all tracks. Previously, 50-50 uh, wings would have been different at Monaco to 50-50 wings at Monza. So, we're going to find out just how slow it would be to run the full Monaco time trial setup around Monza. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. And just to run through the, the setup that I'm using, as I said, I have got a setup from the time trial leaderboards around Monaco. So absolutely maximum wings. I'll, I'll flip through the rest because it doesn't really matter. The wings are the main thing, but you got it there for reference. And we're going to compare this to my current best time trial lap with the Monza setup around Monza. Uh, so about 300th in the world or so. 1 minute 19.0 is my current best lap time. So let's see, let's see how we get on those absolute maximum wings. Oh my God, there's already so much more grip. I'm doing this straight off the back of uh of, of of doing the uh the laps with the mon with the monster setup oh my god look at that delta i don't know what i was expecting but it wasn't to lose a second over a second before we hit the brakes to turn one we're also about 50 kilometers an hour slower in the straight we went we hit about 350k down that straight with drs open with the monster setup uh, now with the Monaco setup, we're just about reaching 300k. Down here we reached about 330k, something like that. See at the bottom there? I mean, struggling for 300k. Already two seconds down. Two seconds in one sector. We should be able to carry a bit more speed for the corner though, corners though, of course. A lot more grip through there, but I don't think it's going to be enough to make up for really anything. Through here we should be able to carry a lot more speed. Oh my god, yeah, there's a lot more speed than that as well. We gain a little bit of time there, but we immediately start losing on the exits once again through here. Really carry speed, we can carry way more than that. We've got a slightly better exit, obviously, with carrying more speed, but then we just lose it almost immediately. I, I, I don't really know what I was expecting. Obviously, I knew it was going to be slower. I don't know if I thought it would be this much slower. I thought it might be maybe a couple of seconds for the whole lap. Not a second for turn one. Obviously, we're having to carry a bit more speed through there as well. Three seconds. It's going to be over four seconds. Way over four seconds, I think, isn't it? Four seconds a lap. Monaco setup versus Monza setup. Right, we really have to go full set. We'll do we'll do one more lap before we get into a race against the AI to, 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 to really see it in action. But yeah, it is over four seconds that first lap. 4.3 seconds per lap slower. Same car, only difference is the setup, mainly the wing angle. Right, okay, let's try and send it a bit harder this time. A bit, a bit too early still, we'll try and carry a bit more speed. Or a bit wide. Lots and lots of traction on the exit. One point one down, more or less matched if we turn one there, despite not being perfect. Of course, that's quite a slow corner anyway, though, so it would make a massive difference. Lose another second, pretty much, before we hit the next turn. Now, from here, we should be able to maintain that that amount of time down. I don't think we can. Okay, one point nine. We'll lose a little bit on the exit. See if we can get it back through this next turn. Oh my god, still way more speed I can carry through there. Again, full send, full send. Oh my, it's, it feels weird. We actually did overall gain time in that little section. We're going to lose all of it immediately on the, on the next straight, of course. But it feels weird sending it that hard around those corners. I mean, F1 cars, even on Monster Spec, have got a lot of grip. Not this much grip. That's a bit of a shame, never mind. Easy, easy, easy flat for Iscari. After the first turn, you just floor it and just, just, just drive through the corner. It's so easy. So easy. 3.3, 3.5, so we can keep it under 4 seconds this time. Oh my god, I literally have to send it so hard. You see me about just as I'm making the wheel. I have to send it so damn hard, it's so unnatural. I'm not used to having this much grip from my Monza. We are just going to get under 4 seconds, are we? We are. 4 seconds, a 22.8. Almost 4 seconds down. And I probably could find another few tenths, maybe even half a second. I don't think I can get that under 3 seconds. So you lose at least 3 seconds per lap just with wing settings around Monza. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be quite that much. But uh, anyway, guys, we would be remiss of us to uh, to not try this mod in an actual race. I suspect it won't be a very long race against the AI. Um, they're probably just going to all beat us by pretty much the second chicane. But let's find out. Okay, here we go then. Sat on the grid for the Italian Grand Prix, but with maximum wings, with the Monaco setup. We should be able to get a better start, you think? Unfortunately, I suck at start, so we didn't actually really get a better start. Now we're going to defend. Sorry, I was very late. Going to have to defend, though. But we're already losing a massive amount of time. I suppose we're going to burn it here super quickly. We we'll see if we can die. Oh, couldn't quite get up the inside of the Ferrari there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I think we were three wide briefly there. We were. We've lost, they've lost a bit of time behind us. That could be our saving grace to try and get the slipstream, but 
<laughs> so, <laughs> this is what it must feel like to be Lewis Hamilton against Max Verstappen in a Dutch Grand Prix because, oh my god, absolutely nothing we could do. Always hit our teammate there. Let's try and be a bit more chill on that right. Let's try and stick to the best we can. Okay, luckily we're not going to get overtaken here. Let's see if we can get close to them through these next couple of turns. We should be able to quite easily. Yeah, there's a bit close there. Lose a bit on the exit though. Let's get a better exit from here. Full send. Yeah, that was better. Full send. We're quite close to them now. Getting the slipstream, but it's going to do nothing. It is going to do absolutely as I switch off the ERS. Is Gazi going to catch us for the end of the straight? I don't think he's quite going to. He's going to get a lot closer though. Oh my word. This is ridiculous. I mean, if I can finish anything but last, even though I'm in a Red Bull, we're not on equal performance. All the cars have got their realistic performance. Even in a Red Bull, if I can do anything but finish last, I've done well. I'm going to try and defend this, but... <laughs> oh, for some reason Norris backed off. But uh, they definitely both could have and should have flown straight past me. I'll keep the position there against Norris though, because I've got better group through that turn. Use a bit of ERS on the exit to get us into the Gazi slipstream, but it just doesn't really matter what we do, does it? Again, I'll try and defend it, but this feels like we stood still. This is this is this is horrendous. This is absolutely horrendous. Can we make some positions back? Maybe. Oh, maybe we could have died bombed Joe there, but felt a bit too risky. The contact there is a side by side ahead. I can't really get better exits. The higher wing never wasn't really helping me. We've only got a three lap race. Okay, we're already not doing great. Down to P12. Got a bit of a gap again. These little gaps being caused by the AI battling is helping me for sure. Alright. Let's just do the best we can in this middle sector. Anything but last place is an absolute win with this setup. Almost four seconds per lap we're down on what we should be. Maybe more in the race. Purely because of ERS. With the, the higher wings you run, the less time you spend on the brakes, the more time you spend full throttle. So effectively the less the ERS can recharge. So we should have less ERS than these guys will get. A little bit. And also we're obviously trying to burn it more to, to be quicker in a straight line. Trying to defend from Alonso. No, it was not a point that was there. <laughs> Well, we're quicker for here, but now it's full throttle of him as well. Bit of the arrest of the exit again to keep us nice and close. In fact, you should burn the arrest down here see if we can do anything. No, we can't. We just cannot. There's just no point. Right, 430. But tell you what, we've got an outside chance here. I'm, keeping this. I'm just going to let Sedona go. Or am I? Oh, I was trying to get the cut back, but couldn't quite. Oh, we backed off. Backed off. That's going to help me because everyone else is backed off with him. Again, I'll try and defend. I say defend. All I'm actually going to do is go to the inside. I hope for the best, but very good. Down to uh, 60. Got to defend still. No. Goodbye. Okay, there's 17th. We can hold on to 17th. Getting slow because they're side by side. Try to get the exit. I just can't. There's just no point. There's nothing I can do. I could maybe have died bombed in there in turn one, but. Yeah, very good. Go, go past better. I'm going to try and defend from the feet. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, this is 18th. Genuinely not going to be easy here. Right, what we need to do is pull the bigger gap as we possibly can in this middle sector. Oh, they're battling ahead. That, could that help us, though? Could we maybe gain a position or two? Oh, just right on the apex. Go away, Latifi. Now is not the time or the place. Okay, it's half attack there. It's cost him some time. That could be our semi grace bit of DRS. Does absolutely nothing. It should have DRS in theory. I don't know if it works in the game like this. In fact, it doesn't work in the game like this. Oh, maybe it does. But uh, DRS in theory should have a bigger effect for us, of course. We've got more rear wing angle on. Should, in theory, have a bigger mid-pack for us. Stroll is a little way back. Can we possibly hold on to this? I think we can, you know. Unless he gets on the exit. We should have a good run through the final turn. Learning all about ERS. We're going to have to defend to not be last place in the three-lap Italian Grand Prix. We can save this, I think. Because we can have a good run through the final turn. Yeah, he's not going to make up four tenths before the line. Don't think. Anyway, no, we're okay. We're okay. We just barely held on to not be last. In a Red Bull... Around the Italian Grand Prix with a Monaco setup. Wow. Like I said, I don't really know what I was expecting, but it, it wasn't to be quite that extreme. That is why all the teams bring special wings to both Monaco and Monza. Because uh, they're that's ridiculous. Honestly, four seconds per lap. Insane. Interesting to see what it's going to be like in real life, because of course uh, the Red Bull is already. Well, it, the Red Bull is. That's what it feels like driving the Mercedes, doesn't it? what we were just driving there compared to the Red Bull. The Red Bull was an absolute rocket ship in a straight line and it generates good downforce. So expecting a bit of dominance from them, to be honest, around Monza. We'll see what happens in real life. But yeah, clear to see why they have special packages for each race. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's just quickly, actually, before we round out, 20.3 was the fastest lap. We did a 25.6. Sorry? Over five seconds in the race. See you for the next one.
Wow. What? How is it that... What? Okay, a teammate did a 21-2. That's more like... That's still over four seconds. As I said, there's probably a bigger difference in the race than in time trial. Because time trial has permanent ERS deployment. But... Wow. Okay, brilliant. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're always doing videos just like this one. So if you enjoyed this, you will enjoy the others as well. Okay, anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.